Cannabis. Cash Color Cannabis, a high level of conversation. Um, today I have a great guest on the line. Um, I have uh, former NFL defensive tackle Cullen, Cullen Jenkins on the line. Cullen, how you doing today? Yeah, I'm doing great. How about yourself? Man, I'm doing amazing, man. I'm, I'm actually blessed to be able to talk to you today, man. I know we got a whole lot of things to talk about, so um, let's oh, go ahead and get to it. Um, my first question I wanted to ask you, though, was about the NFL. Um, how's life outside the NFL been treating you so far? Uh, it's been good. You know, it's been ups and downs, a lot of ups and downs. But, you know, it, it's been good. All right. That's, I, I totally understand that, man. After playing for so long, I'm sure you had to get used to um, um, not having to practice and not having to get up all, all, all early and not have to travel so much. Um, has it been a huge adjustment for you? Yes, it's been a big-time adjustment. And, you know, you got to think you've been doing something every year, organized since you were eight years old. And now, you know, it's over, and it's you know, not just over for a season or anything. It's over for good. So that's been a big adjustment for me. Okay, okay. Well, you did play. Uh, you played like twelve seasons in the league, man. Uh, what was the one thing that I guess you missed the most about playing? Uh, the competitiveness. You know, just being able to go out and, and push yourself, and you know, compete with your teammates, and always strive to just get better and to you know reach the Super Bowl or the ultimate goal. And you, you miss having that. Okay, now I can I can totally understand that, man. Well, uh, one thing I know you don't miss is the 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 rigors of actually playing, especially the position you play at defensive tackle, man. You you constantly running into people, you're constantly having to tackle and just colliding into other people, which I'm sure brought on a lot of ailments such as concussions. Um, you have suffered through multiple concussions while playing in the league. Um, do you feel like while you were playing in the league that the league actually took concussions serious at the time? Um, uh, it, it progressed. You know, I, I've been in the league for a long time. So, you know, the first year, my rookie year was actually 2003. So, you know, how concussions were viewed from then um, to how they're viewed now, you know, it's been it's been a big difference, and they're really starting to pay a lot more attention to it now. You know, back then it was, you know, you get dinged or, you know, if you're not unconscious, you just shake it off, you know, get a little smell of pneumonia, get back on the field. Yeah, it's that warrior mentality, man, that, that, that keeps players going and keeps the league believing that players can just keep moving the way they, they move. But clearly we're starting to learn now that that is a problem as we're dealing with people. Um, as, you, as you know, you're dealing with people who are suffering from CTE and other issues. Um, you dealing with multiple concussions. Um, how do you feel like the multiple co concussions that you suffered affected you after playing? Like, have you, have you noticed anything? Well, it's, you know, I know with my concussions, um, or, or they're saying, I was never diagnosed with one. You know, anytime I had issues, I always just, I was able to keep it, you know, under wraps or shake it off and, and move on. And I think the big thing that I, I've seen, you know, from all of the trauma is, you know, you know, remembering or, you know, staying focused or staying, keeping your mind, you know, in balance now because it'll go all over the place. And, you know, I know the, the other day I went to go grab, I went to go get a cup of coffee, and I left from my room to go get a cup of coffee, and I ended up going to the garage. And, I, and I'm like, why the hell am I at the garage? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so, you know, by the time you walk through there, you know, I completely forget what the heck I was going to do in the first place. But, you know, it's a struggle, and I think, you know, with a lot of guys, is it all depends on a person's personality and and how they can deal with it. Because you know, you you look at it and you look at yourself and you question yourself and you say, "Am I really struggling with these issues?" You know, like they're talking about on TV. And if you're an angry person or a mean person or someone who doesn't deal well with things like that, you know, then you respond in such. Uh, so for me, you know, I've always been more of a kind of a chill and relaxed person. So I always just try to, you know, talk to myself and just, you know, stay, try to stay, you know, happy or positive, you know, about it and, and not let it, you know, get, get me down or give me anger or anything like that. All right, no problem, man. I, you know, and I, I'm, I'm glad that you are, you know, saying just kind of recognizing what's going on because, you know, a lot of people didn't realize what was happening until it was way late. So you're actually way above, way ahead of the curve. So I'm glad for, for you on that end. Um, but I know that dealing with the NFL, they normally, before they prescribe, before they let you do anything else alternative, they're going to give you pills. 
Um, and I know that that was a, a, something that you actually struggled with throughout your career and possibly afterwards. Um, speak to us about opioids and how that's a, how that trend in the league is probably something that's leading to a lot of issues for players after playing. Yeah, it's uh, and it used to be a real, you know, real different, you know, type of issue or the way that they prescribed them back before. You know, they really changed it after the lockout year in the new CBA and started to try to, you know, get a grip on that, on that, and not, you know, just because trainers used to be able to just carry around, you know, the dr- drugs or the medication with them, and they used to travel with them, and they used to and then. You know, the government came and they cracked down and all that stuff, so they're making it harder, you know, to to just get it to players or prescribe it players as easily. But, you know, it's I know for me, you know, you play for so long with that, you know, I, that that's just what you're used to. That's what you're used to turn into. Whenever you have pain, you know, it's a pill for it. You know, whenever you got discomfort, it's a pill for it. You know, it's going to help you get back on the field, help you get back in the game. Okay. Um, and I know that again, the the the, the opioid use and, and the pill, the the opioid use actually led to other issues with you. Um, I was reading alcohol problems and also depression. Um, can you speak to us about that and what you had to use and, or how you turn what you turned to in order to, to to fight through those issues? Well, you know, you deal with a lot of pain, and you have to play. So in order to perform your highest. You know that if you take these medications, it's going to help you to, you know, ignore that pain or not feel that pain. So you do that. Then when you go home, you know, now if you're, if you're uncomfortable, if you're in pain, you know, if you're going to maybe you don't want to take all the pills or you don't want to do anything, but one thing that can help you feel better is alcohol, you know, so you drink, you know, if you're not feeling the best or things are bothering you, you want to get some rest, you know, you, you drink some, you know, you have you, few drinks and now you start feeling better, you start feeling happier, relaxed, and, and you can chill. And so, you know, it, it becomes a cycle where, you know, that's what you're used to. That's what, you, that's your go-to anytime something's going wrong, you know you turn to that. Okay. Well, I know that you actually found your, you found relief through CBD. Um, and that's something that we often speak about here on, on, on Cash Color Cannabis. Speak to us about how you were introduced to CBDs and um, how that's been helping you fight through some of these issues, including um, the pain issues and including fighting some of the, the things that became habits for you, like, like alcohol and like pill, pill abuse. Well, the funny thing with CBD oils and, uh, you know, how I got into it was I was recommended it, you know, by, by family members. Okay. And... For, for me, I had very little knowledge, you know, in, in cannabis industry. And so I always just kind of just put it all in the same group as just being weed. And I, I didn't know any better. So when they first told me about it and they gave me the bottle, the bottle sat there for two weeks before I would even try it because I just thought, yeah, okay, whatever, you know, you give me some weed, I get high and, and that's it. But, uh, you know, after, you know, getting talked to and getting educated. I was like, all right, you know, so well, maybe I'll give it a try and see how I feel. And so when I first tried it, it was it was something that I totally didn't expect. You know, I thought I would be high. I thought I would be, you know, just like smoking it, uh, some along that lines, but it wasn't. And it helped, it helped mellow me out mentally. And then as I continued to take it, you know, I started to notice the physical effects on my joints and you know some of the areas of pain that i've been having you just sleeping at night and everything started to get better all right well, well congratulations on that brother i'm glad you started to find something that would de- that's definitely helping you and not hurting you um i'm watching a lot of ex-players now started to lead towards um being vocal about cbd um cbd use especially somebody like marvin washington um, how do you? How does it feel for you to start seeing players finally step up and speak out about alternative medicines? And do you feel like the league is actually listening? Um, well, it's good to see the players doing it because I feel like it's something that that's necessary because I don't know if the league is listening or not. And although the league is making big steps and strides, you know, with players and things players are going through, you know, a lot of a lot of different benefits as far as you know, health care. You know, uh, for for having insurance afterwards, or you know, retirement, or or furthering education and job 
careers. But one thing that they don't really teach you or help you with is pain management. You know, when you're done, you know, yeah, you have insurance. You know, if you played long enough, you have insurance, you got an insurance account. But what can you do with that insurance? All you can do is go to a doctor. You go to a doctor, you tell a doctor you're in pain, now the same thing happens again. You get prescribed, you know, medication, pills, you know, possibly opiates, whatever it is, and you're back into the same thing, you know. And I think with the players coming out now and speaking about it, they're trying to, you know, just teach everybody and get everybody to be knowledgeable on natural ways and healthier ways, you know, to help with all the pain or injuries and not have to turn to all the medication. Okay. Um, have you had a chance to reach out to any current players right now and, and, and express your 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 life and how you went through the whole pain situation and how CBD actually helped you? Have you worked? Have you spoken to any um, current players yet? I've talked to a couple of players. You know, I was, I was out here in LA for All Star Weekend and uh, ran into a couple of my old teammates. And, you know, just you know, express to them, especially express to them, kind of. You know, the struggles when the, when the game's over with. You know, they talked about different things along that line. Okay. Well, I know there's an important CBA coming up in the NFL. Um, do you feel like players will take a stand concerning their health this round and demand more money be spent on research for MMJ and CBD research? I think so. You know, I think it, it sums a possibility that it can help you, especially a healthier, more natural way then why shouldn't it be an option? You know, it should be at least considered and researched, you know, and you give the players the opportunity to choose because with so many injuries and so many things, they just give you uh, a, a medicine bottle, yeah. you know, whether it's anti-inflammatories or, you know, stronger pain medication, sleep pills, you know, that, that's what it is. It's a quick fix. And so, you know, you need something that's going to benefit us, but it's also not going to provide the the long-term effects or the side effects that all these medications, and then, you know, and then not going to get you, you know, hooked in the end and not going to have to, you know, going back and, and spending your whole life, you know, hooked on these medications that you're getting from the pharmacy. Uh, last question for you, bro. Do you still got an itch to play? I mean, especially when you start seeing some of these contracts getting passed around lately, man. Do you do you still feel like, man, maybe I should get back on the on the field and, and get me another couple of years in? Um, you know, you see what goes on in the league. The league's always a, a progressive league, so you know, contracts will always continue to to go up regardless. So whenever you finish, I'm always going to see the next person get higher contract. So that doesn't bother me. The fact that I finished playing with 49 career sacks yes. and not 50, that bothers me. <laughs> and, and it was, so, you know, I wanted to get to that number 50 so bad, you know, being, a, being an undrafted free agent and being cut my first year, you know, to ending up with the career that I've had. You know, I've been blessed. And, you know, it's bittersweet. You know, yeah, I like to go on out with, you know, with some of the goals or accomplishments, but at the same time, I accomplished way more than I was supposed to. Yeah. Well, brother, I, I'm I'm glad that you're up and you're around and you're speaking clearly and you you sound like you're really moving in the right direction. So I'm very proud of you on that end, man. I want to wish you more success and more, and more happiness in your life. Thank you for speaking with us. Today. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. No problem. And that's Cash Color Cannabis, a high level of conversation.